Getting a wife imekuwa ngumu sana. Everyone thinks they should be rich. Unemployment imekuwa ni normal imekuwa ni rampage. Na kila kitu imeanza ku change. Politics zetu zimeanza ku change vinoma sana. Welcome to the effect of my Kibaki education guys. It's big boys big girls lakini sema jini Tanzania big girls big boys because i have to give these ladies of ours priority so tunaanzia na wao big girls big boys podcast so kama wewe au yuko kwa hiyo bracket kindly toka tu kwa hiyo video because hii video ni wase wa bigi wamemachua ni wa bigi na bado ni girls and boys so welcome to my podcast guys i go by the name mana boss mana leader kasabos and i humbly request you guys to subscribe and hit the notification bell pop uko umetoka job 6 ndio tunaanza hii show nitakuwa gani noma sana so guys welcome sana eh hey, mambo imekuwa ni noma wenye tulikuwa tumejaribu kwenda JKIA uh, tulijipata menosora ama ni menosora <laughs> Yeah so come on ifka JK but we will end up So today guys I want us to discuss the effects on education imeza kutupiga majama juu education imetupiga no man in Tanzania and the first one yenye nasema it has been so hard right now to get yourself a wife because yo madem say wamesoma madem say wako na goals mingi na madem say wamekuwa yani wako na plan ya life yao to a point that getting yourself a wife imekuwa ni noma sana Mana boss mana leader nimepata na a lot of guys out there I don't know whether you are part of it and come on ni dem to ambie the education me kwa affect una feel utaki kuolewa ama uko na plans mingi to a point that we live what's happening because um, most of the girls nowadays wako more of you know they have a plan of their life they want to to be rich they want to get a job they want to do a lot of things they have a lot of goals before we settle down for that one man but remember kitambo love was easy love was all about a feeling getting to fall in love with someone and you wanting to be their wife like yani uko hapo unataka kumzalia unataka kwa that woman unampalilia eh, you know like kwenda kwa mashamba <laughs> and all that sorry when ule mwenye unataka ku make sure yani everything imeenda po unataka tu kwa na bomo but you may change girls squeeze you your masomo Ah uh, imebadilika girls. Say so, yeah, yuko kwa hiyo design yati. Mimi nataka tu kupata mtu dependane tu wao. Most of them they are like yo I cannot be raised from poor backgrounds na ni and uh, bado kwa mambo na poor been poor and all stuff maybe fall in love with a poor man. They don't want to make things work na mwanaume wake pole pole and like kitambo our parents they could start from nothing and build whatever they are having right now. So vitu zimekuwa ni mob sana. And uh These are the conversations that we're going to have in and that we're going to invite watu lakini acha niulize kama kasabos mbona imekuwa hadi hivyo kupata wife tuseme tu kweli jumba de mwengi wako wako wili kwenda ulevi <laughs> wako wili kwenda sherehe lakini hawayuko wili kuolewa na ukipata mwenye anaolewa anaangalia kwa na ganji na kwa na everything so i think uh, by the end of the day is the effects of education where base may change the norm whereby kitambo a woman was believed to just grow up and get married right now they believe that they have a life to live a life to make so imekuwa ni noma sana and i think that is one effect of mwekibaki education ama wona filaje okay number two. Effect ya pili imekuwa venye wasewa na dhani kila mtu anafaa kuwe rich. Unajua kila mse amesoma guys and remember what Mwekibaki did is send everyone to school because of the free education. So mtoto wako angekaa home akosa kwenda shule na kamekpika kwa chipa kuingia high school. So lazima uingie high school pia usome, unaona? So hiyo ku bridge hiyo gap ya unlearned people na learned people ilikuwa so easy for him. And because of that right now everybody has education and they believe they have to be rich but is it the is it the case is it that everyone has to be rich wanna feel kila msana fa kwa rich on my side na feel yeah everybody has to have a decent life and a decent life according to kasabos is given by probably the government by making sure that there's affordable housing by making sure that there are good roads by making sure that there is good 
um, uh, medications, what that is mambo na hospital and all that. There's also um, uh, economic friendly, you know, prices for citizens na wananchi. So that becomes easy for a country. But you are also entitled to work so hard and get yourself some good cash in your is the difference between any normal man who is not working hard or getting himself a job now where but me na feel like to me exaggerate richness richness is not a, is not all about having cars richness is not about having houses i think richness is all about having a life that where una live confidently whereby you can afford what your heart desires. That is richness. When it comes to health, you reach like you eating good and your health conditions are fine. When it comes to um uh, shelter, you have a nice shelter that you feel is good for you. When it comes to food, you can access food that you believe is good to you. Yani Nezasema, that's the, the richness that is normal for everyone. But sasa kuna being wealthy, and you know what I'm saying, sasa ni ile do, wale wasi wa make up na things, na ideas, za kupay lap do. So, effect ingine ya mwekibaki education, ni the fact that right now, everybody thinks that they have to be rich, which is a good thing. So, that's it. The other thing is, <laughs> politics are changing, guys because of education ya mwekibaki unajua sahi like it's so hard to lie to the people sahi ni ngumu sana upate wona danganya wasi like unajua kitambo politicians walikuwa na chocha wasi like angalia most of our parents when I was growing walikuwa na mbwa tuvitu tungine sahi mimi politician hezi niambia like nimejenga barabara nimejenga hospitali yo bro those are things that I'm I've employed you to go and do so hezi niambia sahi unipe kama kasa boss unipe job kasa boss ni peleke uh, maybe mzigo bs nimefika bs at unanikilapia wow wow nice you're the best nobody else like you na sasa nimefanya bure nimekulipa no you will be too you are grateful for what i have done but haitakuwa ni kama i have done something great sana but by the end of the day you paid for it so politicians kitambo wamekuaga kitu enjoy na hiyo design like una make sure anasema amejenga barabara anakuja na launch kitu ya ujinga building tu ji building ya nini wa mama anamklapia wazee wanaona wow amejenga ka classroom mama three classrooms yo bro right now this generation ni kule design ya hiyo ni kazi tumekulipa ufanye na kulipa like a million per year kama we for example ni an mp I, 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 a million per month sorry kazi yako ni kuoversight hizo vitu cuz budget iko nimetoa tax budget imewekwa ya kujenga hizi vitu so when you kulipa oversight so why am i clapping you for oversight i'll just be grateful for the good job umefanya and if no umefanya umefanya kazi nzuri i reelect you so i think the politics have shifted fully because of the education and you tulipata from this great president of ours moi kibaki ama what do you think give me more points than you wanna feel probably zineza kuwa zime zimekuwa ni effect ya mwekibaki guys alafu maybe the last one is um, also i think it may influence unemployment you know we the reason as we have a lot of unemployment it's because a lot of people wamesoma na hiyo ni effect ya mwekibaki education a lot of people went to school and the the government was not set to create more you know opportunities for these people when they are because Let's say I was a I was a president I'm a, I am a president if I'm coming up with things for example za ku make sure kila mtu anaenda shule then I have to make sure that I have a space for these people after so that's why I take another special committee to check on innovations and uh, plan that in as absorb at least 50% or more of these youths unaona so I think up with all everybody went to school yeah but the government did not work on absorbing this so as much as everything is happening the unemployment i think also we can talk of because we're saying from soma you can imagine how many people are teachers right now you can imagine how many people are nurses right now you can imagine how many people may graduate na mambo ya business kwanza wengine upishi and all that ni wengi sana i love sasa the other problem is 
we have been having an economical, economical hard times. So people don't have money to also invest on their own. Wase wengi wa party ganja ya kuji invest ya because unaweza kuomesomea vitu zingine si lazima uandikwe but lack of fear do ya ku invest. So you look up to the government to create that opportunity that you deserve because umesoma. So I think isoni effect za moikibaki and uh, I think today guys eh, allow me to sum it up apple. Remember big boys big girls and big boys podcast inakuja kuweza kuchangamua vitu mob sana itakuwa ni exciting we are just getting started so make sure you hit a subscription button this is the only podcast tenye ukitoka job umechoka ama umekuwa na long day hata ulikuwa home kidogo vitu zako ikifika 6 every 6 una relax una kapa na kasabo to changamwezi vitu i'll be bringing people and remember apa si atina leta ma celeb or masters i'll be bringing people depending how i feel kama yeye ni a big girl or a big boy sasa ngine nitakuwa na both big girl a big girl and a big boy and then tutakuwa na conversation poa sana na tumesema tuongelea everything that surrounds a big girl and a big boy when it comes to mambo na relationships when it comes to what is trending when it comes to everything that we need to know i go by the name mana bossman alida make sure you follow me on all social media platforms na nawapenda sana them dead fully fully dead <laughs>